I'm going to create a composite image of a snowboarder jumping over the Grand Canyon using Pixlr.com, which is a great free tool for image editing. Uh, there's five skills I'm going to use, and it's going to take less than five minutes. I'm going to open from a URL, select and copy, paste and transform, which is resizing. I'm going to use the magic wand to clear bits I don't need, and then the eraser and the blur tool to tidy up at the end. So here is a picture of the Grand Canyon. That's uh, zoomed in at 100%. It's quite a small image, but that will work for me. Um, and then on the internet, I found a much larger picture of a snowboarder jumping in about the right position and on a nice isolated sky, a nice blue background. So I'm going to copy the web address or URL of that picture. Go back to Pixlr, and then from the File menu, choose Open Image URL. Paste that address into this box wait a few moments and my picture appears. It fits in the window nicely but it is only 36%. It's worth bearing that in mind. So I don't need the snow, I don't need an awful lot of the sky, so I'll use this rectangular selection tool to draw a box around my snowboarder and the fact that I've picked up some other bits doesn't matter because I can delete that later. So I'll go to the edit menu and copy and then go back to the Grand Canyon and I'll point out that we've got one layer in this layers window, it's called the background, and it looks like the Grand Canyon. When I go to the edit menu and paste my snowboarder, I get a second layer called layer 2, and it's got a snowboarder in. Now unfortunately the snowboarder is so big that she's covered the Grand Canyon. To change that, I'll go to the edit menu and choose free transform. Transform allows you to change the size of things, rotate things, that sort of stuff. And I get these handles, these little squares in the corner. I'll use them just to make my snowboarder a more sensible size. And being careful not to uh, make her really thin or really fat, try and keep her in proportion as I change her size. And there we go. I think I'll stop about there. <clears throat> so with this layer, uh, I've got some problems. Uh, I've got a blue sky to get rid of. It's really easy to do. If I choose the, oh, before I choose the magic wand tool, I have to apply these changes. Yes, I do want to do that. So click on the magic wand tool, click on an area you'd like to clear, and that's perfect, I think. Well, it's not perfect, but it will do. If you want to experiment with selecting more or less of your picture, you can change this tolerance number. Uh, but I'm happy with that, so I'll go to edit clear, and I'll click between her legs, edit clear, and under her snowboard, edit, clear. And most, not all, but most of the sky has gone. I think I'll finish the rest of the sky with the eraser. So we're nearly there. Is that bit of sky gone? That's a bit behind her leg. So just be careful with how you do your eraser. If you do make a mistake and accidentally cut her in half, you can go to the edit menu and choose undo. And then go back to where you were. Okay, I think that's quite good. Just do a little bit of a chain there. Great. Now, it looks a bit pixelated around the edge. I mean, it looks kind of ridiculous because she's jumping off the Grand Canyon. But to make it a bit more authentic, I'm going to use the Blur tool to first of all soften the edges of the image. But also I think it will give her an impression of moving because when things are moving they tend to be blurry. And just put that around the edge. And maybe a little bit in the middle. And I'll just get the move tool and move layer two to somewhere about there. And there we have a composite image of a snowboarder jumping off the Grand Canyon.